Etihad Rail, the UAE's mega-project to link the country's centers of trade, industry, and population, will expand by nearly 80% of its current track capacity in the coming years. In a coastal village west of Abu Dhabi city, engineers, technicians, and mechanics work day and night to keep the project on track. In this video, we are going to discuss the Etihad Rail project. The video is going to be amazing so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. The depot in Murfa serves as the center of operations that maintains and services all movement between the trains and track. When complete, it will stretch about 1,200 kilometers across the country and will carry both passengers and freight. The Etihad Rail project was initiated in 2009. The first phase was completed in 2016 as two trains started operating across the country. Each train can carry 22,000 tons of sulfur and 110 wagons on a single journey. So far, 30 million tons of granulated sulfur have been transported with zero injuries without a single lost time incident, which is equivalent to 1.8 million truck trips. Interestingly, a single train journey means taking over 300 trucks off the road, reducing up to 80% carbon dioxide. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, vice president and ruler of Dubai, on Monday said the Etihad Rail project would change the infrastructure map in the country. Chairing a cabinet meeting held in Al Watan Palace in Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Mohammed said the railway project had been reviewed and called it the largest infrastructure project in the UAE, linking 11 cities, seven logistics centers, and four international ports in the country. In May, Etihad Rail said 75% of the network had now been built. Construction has been divided into two stages, the second of which includes four packages. While increasing freight opportunities is the focus, for now, passenger transport will become a key part of the project in the years to come. Officials did not give a start date for the first service, but said by 2030, the number of passengers is expected to reach more than 36.5 million annually, in a statement in December last year. Stations will stretch from Silla near the border with Saudi Arabia to Fujairah on the east coast. The train will allow passengers to travel from Abu Dhabi to Dubai in 50 minutes and from Abu Dhabi to Fujairah in 100 minutes, the statement read. Etihad Rail is working closely with the Federal Transport Authority and transport authorities across the Emirates to develop existing networks and hubs to improve passenger connections. Etihad celebrated connecting the industrial city of Abu Dhabi with the railway network last month. Today, we have made remarkable strides by completing the main works for the UAE National Rail Network and connecting it to the main lines in Sharjah and Ras Al Khaimah, bringing us closer than ever to completing the network on schedule and achieving our objective of providing an efficient and sustainable transport network that links the country's emirates and connects the UAE with the region says Etihad Rail Deputy Project Manager Ms. Kulud al -Mazrawi. This plays a key role in opening up new prospects in the logistics and transport industry, driving social development, and providing promising economic opportunities in the UAE and the region across a range of sectors. On Wednesday, September 28, there was an agreement between Etihad Rail and Oman Rail during His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan president of the United Arab Emirates and ruler of Abu Dhabi state visit to Oman. The Abu Dhabi to Dubai Railway also includes 29 bridges, 60 crossings, and 137 drainage channels. It is part of the larger UAE railway program, which will connect everyone across the seven emirates. When completed, the railway network will be able to link the main centers of industry and population across the UAE region. The first look of Etihad Rail was unveiled in January 2022. Silver and gray colored carriages have the Etihad Rail logo displayed prominently, and images were released of what the carriages would look like from the inside too. Different types of seating arrangements will be offered according to flight class. You can expect a comfortable journey with considerable spaces between passenger cabins. All carriages will have a Wi-Fi facility, charging points, and entertainment systems, and numerous food and beverage options will be on board. The whole look of the trains can be confidently defined as futuristic, sleek, and aerodynamic. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.